My name is Kishpani. S K E S H W A N I Kishpani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here. Official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 260. Please turn to page 260 and it is problem number 7. Page 260 on problem number 7 it says, I'm going to read the problem to you, it says the triangle PQ and R, sorry not PQ and R, triangle PQR and XYZ are similar. That's the very first sentence, are similar. Now before we go any, any, any farther than that, ask ourselves, let's ask ourselves, uh, I'm going to say go any further than that, ask ourselves, what does it mean for the two triangles to be similar? Not the same, if the two triangles are the same, that means they are the exact same thing, they have the exact same angles, they have the exact same length, everything is the same. One is just a exact a detail, uh, exact image of the other. The two triangles are the same. Here they are saying the two triangles are similar. What does it mean for two triangles to be similar? Well, what does it mean for two triangles to be similar? Well, two triangles are said to be similar, two triangles are said to be similar if there are two conditions we have to fulfill. If all the corresponding angles of the two, if if all the corresponding angles of the two triangles are equal to each other, all the angles have to be equal. For example, if I draw a triangle here, and if I draw another triangle here, a bigger one, and if I tell you that the triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. And what it means right away, right off the bat, is uh, what it means is that if this is angle A, then so is this one. Their, their measurement is the same. They have exact same degrees. This is, a, this is angle B, so this is angle B. Oh, another thing that you should notice, which I did it very casually and very cursorily, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to redo it. I did it very cursorily, I'm going to redo it, which is this part. Pay attention, okay? See, I drew triangle ABC. Oh, I did not. Oh, lost it. I did mess it up. I did mess it up the two. I think in the other one I had PQR, if I remember it correctly. I don't remember it now. But anyway, I'm going to start the story now. You see here ABC. So I'm starting with the bottom left. I'm starting with the bottom left and going clockwise. And then if, if I go ahead and tell you that I have another triangle, triangle PQR, which is similar to ABC, what that means is that you will read, you will draw a triangle PQR, but you better draw them in the same order, the vertices, the, the corners, they better be in the same order as they are shown here. In other words, if triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR, you cannot draw PQR like that. No, sir. This is, this is, they are not similar. Because here the PQR started with the top, here it started with the bottom left. They are no good. These two triangles are not similar. No sir. Neither are these two. I cannot go like this. No sir. If this one started from the bottom left corner and going clockwise, the other one also has to start with the bottom. You choose. Which, you choose which corner you want to start with. You could, we could have started from the top, but then we have, if you started from the top, ask yourself, did you go clockwise or did you go anti-clockwise? or counterclockwise as the Americans call it. So if you're going clockwise, you cannot go anti-clockwise in the other one. So PQR, one more time, ABC, so we're going to have PQR. So if you're, if you're told that triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR, then this, if this is angle A, then this is the same exact degree, same exact degree. If this is angle B, the measurement of this angle is also the same. Do you understand? Now, why didn't I talk about the top one? Why didn't I talk about the top one? Because top one is a, the measurement of the top one is a mood point. It's a mood point because 
if this angle is if this angle is equal to that angle, and if this angle is equal to this angle, then the top angle that is, that is not shown here is of course is simply 180 minus 180 minus a minus b, which is exactly what this is 180 minus a minus b. If this this is equal to this and this is equal to that, the top angle has to be equal to that angle. Do you understand? So. Here we have two triangles, PQR and XYZ, they are similar, so let's draw them. Let's draw them. Oh, I never finished uh, talking about the other one. Oh, class, it's too late now. It's too late. This is how I had, if I remember it correctly, ABC and PQR. I'm going to quickly finish it. PQR, this angle is same as this angle. And this angle is same as that angle. They have to go in the same order, and the angles have to be the same. If that's the case, then if I, if, and if you're told that this is five and this is six, if you're told that this is five and this is six, and if you're also told that this is fifteen, that tells you that this side PQ is three times that side, which means this side QR better be three times that side. And that is all. And that is all. It means for the length of the two sides to be proportional. Length of the two triangles to be proportional, not size. The length of the two lengths of the lengths of the two triangles are proportional. In other words, if this side is three times that side and this side cannot be two times that side or four times that side, they have to be in the same proportion. So what does it mean for two triangles to be similar? Let's, let's stop and ask ourselves in a very colloquial manner. Okay? What does it mean to be similar? Our two triangles are said to be are similar. The concept is like this. I draw, uh, you take a blank piece of paper, take a blank piece of paper, draw a triangle on it, any, any old triangle, and you put it in a Xerox machine. You put it in a copier, in a photocopier, and you magnify it 100% or 200%. That magnified version of the original graph is it a similar triangle? The magnified version of the original triangle is your is your similar triangle because the inside angles are still the same. Inside angles do not change, and the sides are exactly proportional. If you magnify the whole triangle by 200%, then obviously if this side is magnified 200%, then so is the other side. And uh, you understand? You get the idea. It's just the same triangle being magnified. That's all it is. And the angles do not change. Angles do not change because look, if I have here. Angles do not change because if I have two, if I have two, two lines here, and this is 30 degrees, and this is five, and this is six. If this is five and this is six, if I extend that, and if I make this 10, and if I make that 16, it's not going to change the angle between these two signs. The angle is still the same. So angles do not change when you magnify the length of the sides, which is why, which is why each of the corresponding which is why each of the corresponding angles are equal to each other. Okay. Enough of the enough of the talk. Let's finish up this problem. I'm taking too long. So we have PQR and XYZ, which are similar. Here is your PQR. 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 And XYZ. I'm doing the same thing because that's what I, that's what I do. This is that's the convention. This is this is what most people do. We start from the bottom left hand corner and we go clockwise. That's just a convention. What else do we know? Is there anything else to tell? They must tell you something. We are told that PQ is 6. P to Q is 6. We are told that uh, P to R is 4. P to R is 4. And they tell us that if X to Y, sorry, and then, then, and then they go on to tell us that if x to y is 9, ah, oh, there you go, if x to y is 9, how much is, how much is x to z? x to z, right here, the bottom part, right here. Well, that's very straightforward, very straightforward, very simple, watch what happens. This is 6, and this is 9. 9 xy x to y is 9 which is one and a half times 6 or one and a half times one and a half times pq this thing is one and a half times pq I shouldn't have written it there because we don't 9 
x to y is 9, which is 1 and a half times pq. 1 and a half times 6 is 9, which means that this side, x to z, is going to be 1 and a half times 4. x to z is going to be 1 and a half times 4. One, 1 times 4 is 4, and uh, 4 halves make 2, so 1 and a half times 4 is 6. That's all. It was a very simple question. It was a very straightforward question. You just have to understand what it means for two triangles to be similar, which is why I took so much time to explain that concept, because a lot of the times people have confusion. So there are some conditions you have to fulfill. And one of, one of the foremost conditions is that, however, however you name the vertices of this triangle, you have to name the vertices of that triangle in the same order. One last thing that I want to do before I finish up the finish up the video today, there are three words that I use here. One was cursory. What does it mean to do something in a cursory manner? It means to do something in a hurry. And the adverb of cursory would be cursorily, as I'm doing right now. I'm covering this question, uh, these words, very cursorily. In a very, uh, I'm covering these questions very hastily. To do cursory means to do something in haste. Cursorily is the adverb which means to do something hastily. Cursory which was the day number 22. And then I use this word here, mood. What I said was this. This is how I used it. This angle, angle A, is the same angle as this angle, angle A. And if this is angle B, then this is angle B. And then I never talked about, then I never talked about this angle. What about this top angle and this top angle? I never said anything at all. Because that was a mood point. There was no point discussing about it. It's not necessary. Because if this, this, this angle is equal to that angle and this angle is equal to that angle, then this top angle is simply 180 minus the sum of these two angles. So obviously these two are going to be also equal because of the fact that we have a constraint that the sum of these three angles is 180 and sum of these three angles is 180. So the top angle is also going to be equal. It was a mood point, which is why we don't, there's no need to talk about it. We, there is no need to mention the fact that the top angle is also equal. Of course it's going to be equal. If you want to learn the meaning of the word mood properly, because I'm not doing right now a very thorough job of explaining the word. If you want to learn it, I will tell you what to do with these numbers here. And the last word that I used was colloquial, which you probably know if you're a native speaker. And how did I use that word colloquial? Oh, I was talking about what does it mean for two triangles to be similar. And in the colloquial terms, what it means is a normal day speech and an informal speech without being too fancy and too formal. What it means is that you draw a triangle on a piece of paper you put in the photocopier and you enlarge it. The new triangle that comes out of the photocopy, photocopier is similar to the triangle that you started out with. That's what it is. Those two triangles are similar. They're not the same obviously because you magnified it, but they're similar, which means their interior angles are equal and the sides of the new triangle that you reproduce are proportional to the old one. Either you have minimized it or maximized it, it doesn't matter, but they are in the same proportion. All three sides are in the same proportions. The word I'm looking for is colloquial, which means informal speech, not very formal, uh, to say something in a not very formal way, colloquial. See, oh, I know we covered it, I know that for a fact, and these words come out of nowhere, and then I stand here looking for them forever, and, oh, there we go, day number five. If you're interested in improving your vocabulary, along with uh, improving your math skill with me, you can... Uh, you can go and watch my vocabulary videos, just type in my name, Keshwani, and then type in vocabulary, day 22, day 7, and day 5, and you will learn these three words, along with some other useful words, not just for the GRE, not just for the sake of taking the GRE, but also just to improve your language, just to improve vocabulary in general. Okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.